the next couple of days. Well, I see what we all like. Every, what we do every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is, is we'll go and review the game, and you know, you know we're not going to be roaring and shouting. You know what I mean? There's, there's stuff to be sorted out. You know, it's an honest group. Um, you know, we look back and, and deliver the messages that we need to deliver, and, and take the lessons. And you know, we've we've a test match in seven days' time. Um, you know to. You know, to go doing something, to go and do something special at the end of our season. So, um, you know, look, a, bit, a big response from, from us is, is, is needed 100%. Are there any further questions for Peter? And I'll for excuse him. Okay, Peter, you're done. Thank you very much. And if you just continue with Andy, please, uh, Rory. Andy, can I just ask you the same question? Thanks, Peter. You responded before when you put the against you. What do you want to see from the players this week? Um, well, first and foremost, to um, to make sure that they turn up for work uh, in the right manner, not feeling sorry for themselves, so that they're open enough to be to be honest and learn the lessons quickly and put them right and uh, attack the attack the week and have a good week and enjoy it. It's, it's our it's our last week of the season. Um, we should be we should be buzzing for that. Um, but Yoni. You only get to that point if you're able to be honest and uh, uh, and straight with each other. Uh, so there's a few things that we need to probably get off our chest at the beginning of the week and then push forward together. Uh, yeah, I thought he, I thought he was good. He actually came off the, with a, a groin injury, so um, it's unfortunate for him. Uh, he's got some presence in in the air, hasn't he? You know, he's athletic. He's 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 big. You know, I, when when the team's a little bit on the back foot in the first half, it's, it's it's difficult for him. When the team's on the front foot, it's obviously easier for for everyone, especially guys like Jamie who uh, are very good on the front foot, playing with ball in hand. Thank you. And I just want to ask you: um, the last time Ireland toured here was in 2016. Um, Durban wasn't part of that tour. Yeah. Your personal experience of Durban and how do you guys prepare for the conditions over there, Durban? Well, looking forward to going tomorrow. I believe it's 23 degrees, so a couple of uh, uh, degrees uh, higher than here. Um, certainly not as high, being at sea level. So we'll enjoy our time. We've, we, we've enjoyed our time here in in, in Joburg. We've been um, uh, well looked after. Uh, it's great to come to an iconic stadium like this, and we're going to another one next week. Um, John? Can I ask you what pleased you about your performance as well? Because there were aspects that were very good. There was that again. Uh, the obvious one is we we never go away. There's, there's, there's fight there, and we we always give ourselves a little bit of hope. And with a little bit of luck, uh, it could have been a little bit closer. Um, you know, you don't always win a game, even when you've played the best. Um, uh, but certainly, a few <laughs> things went against us, and that's that's just life. But we can. We can certainly play better than that. I know, I've, I've no doubt uh, South Africa would 100% say say the same. So, so therefore, it's we we roll on to next week. And uh, again, if we can if, if we can be honest with each other, then I'm sure that we'll we'll attack this in the in the manner that it that it deserves. Last two questions, please, Murray then Neil. And how did you feel the halfbacks went? I thought Craig was good. I actually thought Connor was excellent when he came on. Uh, Connor's been great as well dur dur during the week. He's playing a lot quicker. He's in good nick and obviously there to support and score the try. Um, uh, but Craig was good. Look, he's a 50-22. He's, 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 he's sniping around there. Um, he's led really well uh, this week. Jack, uh, I'm sure that he'll be disappointed with one or two things of his game. Um, but... That's what happens at Test Match Rugby. It's not all smelling of roses, is it? Last question. Yeah. And, and you, just to go back on the first half, you said earlier on that you'd kind of say a few honest things at, at half time. Did South Africa show you things that you weren't expecting early on in the game? Was how, how willing they were to go wide early on? Or did you just not execute? No, he, he wasn't sticking to our, uh, our plan um, in, in, in regards to how we defend. You know... Um, they obviously got us with a, with a bit of width, with the depth that they played. Uh, we, we've got a better solutions than, than what we dished up there. It looked like we were, we was half in it in the second half. It was completely different, so that's not right, is it? Okay, thanks, Andy. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Thanks a lot.